Echezkeel Ezekiel 32. And it came to pass in the twelfth year, in the twelfth month, in the first day of the month, that the word of Yahuwah came unto me, saying, Son of Adam, take up a lamentation for Pharaoh, king of Mitzrayim, and say unto him, You are like a young lion of the nations, and you are as a dragon in the seas. And you came forth with your rivers, and troubled the waters with your feet, and fouled the ri their rivers. Thus says Adonai Yahuwah, I will therefore spread out at my net over you, with the company of many people. They shall bring you up in my net. Then will I leave you upon the land. I will cast you forth upon the open field and will cause all the fowls of the heavens to remain upon you. And I will fill the beasts of the whole earth with you. And I will lay at your flesh upon the mountains and fill the valleys with your height. I will also water with your blood the land wherein you swim, even to the mountains, and the rivers shall be full of you. And when I shall put you out, I will cover at the heavens and make the stars thereof dark. I will cover the sun with a cloud, and the moon shall not give her light. All the bright lights of heaven will I make dark over you, and set darkness upon your land, says Adonai Yahuwah. I will also vex the hearts of many people when I shall bring your destruction among the nations into the countries which you have not known. Yea, I will make many people amazed at you, and their kings shall be horribly afraid for you, when I shall brandish my sword before them. And they shall tremble at every moment, every man for his own life, in the day of your fall. Thus says Adonai Yahuwah, The sword of the king of Babel shall come upon you. By the swords of the mighty will I cause your multitude to fall. The terrible of the nations, all of them, and they shall spoil at the pomp of Mitzrayim. And all the multitude thereof shall be destroyed. I will destroy also eth all the beasts thereof from beside the great waters. Neither shall the foot of man trouble them any more, nor the hoofs of beasts trouble them. Then will I make their waters deep, and cause their rivers to run like oil, says Adonai Yahuwah. When I shall make at the land of Mitzrayim desolate, and the country shall be destitute of that whereof it was full, when I shall smite at all them that dwell therein, then shall they know that I am Yahuwah, This is the lamentation wherewith they shall lament her. The daughters of the nations shall lament her. They shall lament for her, even for Mitzrayim, and for all her multitude, says Adonai Yahuwah. It came to pass also in the twelfth year, in the fifteenth day of the month, that the word of Yahuwah came unto me, saying, Son of Adam, 
wail for the multitude of Mitzrayim and cast them down, even her and the daughters of the famous nations, unto the nether parts of the earth, with them that go down eth into the pit. Whom do you pass in beauty? Go down and be laid eth with the uncircumcised. They shall fall in the midst of them that are slain by the sword. She is delivered to the sword. Draw her and all her multitudes. The strong among the mighty shall speak to him out of the midst of Sheol, with them at that help him. They are gone down. They lie uncircumcised, slain by the sword. Ashur is there and all her company. His graves are about him, all of them slain, fallen by the sword, whose graves are set in the sides of the pit, and her company is round about her grave, all of them slain, fallen by the sword, which caused terror in the land of the living. There is Elam and all her multitude round about her grave, all of them slain, fallen by the sword, which are gone down uncircumcised into the nether parts of the earth, which caused their terror in the land of the living. Yet have they borne their shame with them that go down eth to the pit, They have set her a bed in the midst of the slain, with all her multitude, her graves are round about him, all of them uncircumcised, slain by the sword, though their terror was caused in the land of the living, yet have they borne their shame with them that go down eth to the pit. He is put in the midst of them that be slain. There is Meshech Tubal and all her multitude. Her graves are round about him, all of them uncircumcised, slain by the sword, though they caused their terror in the land of the living. And they shall not lie eth with the mighty that are fallen of the uncircumcised which are gone down to Sheol with their weapons of war. And they have laid at their swords under their heads, but their iniquities shall be upon their bones, though they were the terror of the mighty in the land of the living. Yea, you shall be broken in the midst of the uncircumcised, and shall lie at with them that are slain with the sword. There is Edom, her kings, and all her princes, which with their might are laid eth by them that were slain by the sword. They shall lie eth with the uncircumcised, and eth with them that go down to the pit. There be the princes of the north, all of them, and all the Sidonim, which are gone down eth with the slain. With their terror, they are ashamed of their might, and they lie uncircumcised eth with them that be slain by the sword, and bear their shame with them that go down eth to the pit. Pharaoh shall see them, and shall be comforted over all his multitude, even Pharaoh and all his army, slain by the sword, says Adonai Yahuwah. For I have caused eth my terror in the land of the living, and he shall be laid in the midst of the uncircumcised eth with them that are slain with the sword. Even Pharaoh and all his multitude, says Adonai Yahuwah.